Sam Cedar on the majority report on the phone. The uh, the titular voice. Inimitable. Inimitable. The inimitable voice of the uh, majority report. He does other stuff too, apparently. Uh, John Benjamin. Well, I have to thank you. Hi. There was a point when it was the only thing I was doing. Um, well, I mean, uh, there's, uh, you're picking up on other stuff. My understanding is that you're, what are you doing? Are you still, are you still writing for that uh, Dimitri Martrin, Martin, Martrin, Martrin Martrand. show? Martrand. Martrand. M-A-R-T-R-A-N-D. Martrand show. Are you Martrand still writing for that uh, Dimitri Martin show? No, that uh, I am still writing for it, but it got canceled a year and a half ago. But I still write sketches. Uh, I don't know, five or six times a day. Wow, that's. Uh, that's I hope it gets picked back up again. I guess is what I'm saying. How oh. are you, Sam? Oh, I'm fine, John. How are you? What are you? Are you in a uh, car? I'm in a car with my sister driving to the train. Oh, really? You're visiting your sister. So well, uh, I didn't realize uh, big showbiz guys like you t uh, still take uh, public transportation. No, I'm gonna. We're going to watch the train, not to take it. Oh, I, I would see. never take. I like watching trains go by, but uh, I would never take one. No, I would take. I take private, uh, private jets and helicopters, stuff like that. I mostly travel through the air now, not on the ground. <laughs> Are you in a hovercraft as we speak? <laughs> yes. I'm on the duck tour in Boston. I'm in one of those. I bought one of those duck boats. You bought one of the duck boats? Yes. When you're rich, you kind of just start doing silly things. I hope this phase passes. Uh, but, yeah, I bought a duck boat. And, to uh, ride around Manhattan. Uh, this is part of your... The, folks, this is why the rich need tours. I mean, uh, excuse me, tax cuts. Uh, they purchase things like uh, the duck boats. And then it well, puts people to work building new duck boats. But it is a statement in favor of congestion pricing. So there you go. There you go. There is he's pro congestion uh, pricing because of course I am. Uh, I am because it's, it's got to be hard to maneuver. Do you drive your, the uh, duck uh, the duck boat yourself or no? It's kind of a statement to say, like, see what happens when anything can, when anything goes in Manhattan or in, in big urban areas where there isn't congestion pricing. Um, so, uh, well, there you have it. Uh, it's a bold political statement. Now, uh, my understanding is, uh, that your, your show is launching. Is that right, John? It's on tonight. Yeah. It's been, uh, for, uh, uh, tonight at 10:30, and then tomorrow night Ooh. at 10 30. And it's, uh, so oh, far, it's during Ed Schultz. <laughs> yeah. uh, hmm. uh, is that going to be a problem? Well, I mean, not for me. Um, because I also I flip back and forth between AC 360 and Ed Schultz, and uh, there's also they also have that uh, thing um, uh, that uh, that uh, game on uh, ESPN Classic uh, Two, I think it is ESPN Classic Two, where they do the it's not called bowling. What is it? Oh. They sh the stuff the stuff on the ice. Like curling. Candle curling. Curling. Oh, curling. Curling. Yeah. It's kind of off uh, season for curling, I guess. But you well, can it's all that. indoor. They do it all indoor now. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I guess. I don't really follow curling at all, but apparently you do, and that might get in the way if you're watching my show. It's on and at 10.30. 10 hmm. It's late. So you, do they rebroadcast it during the day? Well, you can tape it or probably watch it on the Internet or hey. stuff like that. There are ways I can... You're not going to do that either. My DVR is there, so full right now. Uh, yeah. I don't well, know. if you program it in, it will do it for you. Yeah, you but the problem is it's pretty full, and I've got to keep a lot of those episodes of Super Y uh, yeah. for my daughter. Super Y. Oh, that's a kid's show. Yeah. 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 Well, and, you, know, you don't uh, have We're to. holding on to all of the um, Desperate Housewives because we've got, like, almost two and a half seasons to catch up on. Well, it feels like you can dump those if you already watched them. No, but we haven't watched them. We, we, we're, we're letting them all stack up so we can just do like a Desperate Housewives marathon. I kind of feel like you're just sort of politely saying you don't want to watch my show. No, no. I just didn't realize it was on at 1030. Because Tuesday nights right. is our special night where we watch something else at 1030. And then okay. usually we're so tired from staying up so late on Tuesday night, it's tough to stay up to 1030 on Wednesday night. 
Is there well, any chance yeah. you could have the show on earlier? Why don't I send you uh, DVDs of it? Because then that seems like you can watch it at your discretion. Aye. You God. don't have a DVD player. Huh? Just got rid of the DVD player. We actually okay. went back to VHS. Why don't you come? Because we live not that. We live relatively close. You can come over so and watch it at busy. some point. I don't really. I'm not so doing. I'm not doing much now. You so you are busy. busy. Uh, okay. yeah, because Myla, well, then, we don't have a babysitter. Yeah. Right, right. Um, there's absolutely no way that you can't schedule the show for, like, earlier in the day. Some, like, maybe, like, 3 p.m. Well, I just don't have any control of when they, the scheduling. That's not my purview. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, well, so they, wait, the, the name of the show is John Benjamin Has a Van, but they yes. don't let you have any control over it? That seems weird. <laughs> well, they... They let me have bad decisions about the content, but they did and the name, but they didn't. They don't tell. They don't let me schedule it. That's I weird. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the majority report. Well, we call this show the majority report. Sometimes we say with Sam yeah, Cedar. Yeah, that I've been a big part I could of put for this years. On, I could put this on at any time of the day. <laughs> well, that's true, but then you, because you you work for yourself, and you know, not many people listen to your show. This well, is that's a big, true. It's, that's it's true. A, I mean, but uh, nevertheless, it doesn't matter. I mean, if uh, if tons this of people. This is a listen. show that's going to reach millions of people. Where you're going for a much smaller audience, have like th- in like under a, under a hundred. Have you have you thought of maybe doing your show as a podcast, not not be so constrained by video? <laughs> have you ever thought of trying to get more than a hundred listeners? Well, uh, look, I like to do an exclusive show. That way I can... Uh, I can it is rarefied, but not in the sense that you can't access it. Like, there are things that are very rare that are exclusive that are, you know, that, that people, like, you just, you can't get to it. You, it's perfectly open. Anyone can get to your show. Oh, that's not but true. It, it, not, not, for the, not for the second half of the show. No, you need to be a member. This is I a am, member. I this am, is a, in that. This interview is typical of what we do with members. You know, the this only is members member, a membership act. only program. This part. Oh yeah. This oh, is yeah. a members only situation. Right. This is going out to. About so we're like in the VI. We're like in the VIP room of right. your show right and now. And just about three or four people are allowed in here. And you know what? The bad three. thing is, is, I know these people don't have cable. Urgh. I am. Is there I any am. chance, my, my. John? Let and me just it, ask this: Is there they any all chance? Like, listen to you on CB radio. <laughs> can you, <laughs> is there any way that you can make this an audio show that plays on a broadcast network <laughs> over the air that people can pick up with a digital antenna at 3 p.m. in the afternoon? Because I think I can really deliver a couple of viewers, listeners. So right you're there. saying, wait, let me just to be clear, this conversation right now we're having, it's just that guy in Seattle that you know who's listening. Oh, no, 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 no. He's, uh, I think he's actually in Vancouver now. Oh, he moves. Yeah. Why? Do you know? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I think uh, he was have... evicted. I think he was evicted. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have, you didn't have cable, anyways. I mean, uh, but well, he lived in a cabin in the woods. Right, right. Now I think he lives in Vancouver, or maybe <laughs> hmm, no, I'm not sure. Uh, I can check on that though for you. All your listeners are or your listeners are predominantly like those, uh, right? Like the secessionists. Yeah, right? well, I'd like say about ninety-five percent are secessionists. Some of them have actually started their own country already. <laughs> and I don't know. You're if exclusively if listened to on compounds across the country. Your show's on the Ha Channel. Is that not correct? No, that's, it used to be the Ha Channel when you uh, watched television, which is what you stopped watching TV in the eighties. Uh, I think it was the late 80s. You used to work for the Hot Channel, if I remember correctly. I don't think so. Oh, I mean, I did watch it. I, oh, it's the one that came after the Hot Channel. The um, Comedy Central. Comedy Central. Comedy Central. Mm-hmm. And where do people find that on there? Oh, is that the one that, that's the network that uh, Keith Olbermann's starting his show on? No, that's different. That's oh. not that. All Keith right. Olbermann, no. I think that's the one known by... Uh, Mark Cuban or now, something, right? John Benjamin has a van. What? Can, what? Now, what is that about? <laughs> uh, well, it's uh, you got to. You got to. It's hard to describe, but I do have a van. You've seen my. Well, van. I know what a van is, and I know what John Benjamin is. So how hard can it be? Tell us about it. Well, 
It's uh, it's an exciting comedy premise. Uh, now, is that this unfolds, about how you get a van, or just about how you have one? It's more about that I have one than I. I, I when the show starts, I already have it in my possession. Mm, so, so there's I, no suspense whatsoever in this show. Well, no, things how you don't know where the van's going to take you. I guess is the point. Mm. But well, I already I have mean, it. Like I had the. Now, I is this like a, Is it a talking van? Is it like Kit? Who's Kid? Oh, Kid Knight Rider. Right. No. Oh. No, 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 no. No, it is not. It doesn't take place in the future. Oh. Did that take place in the future, or? I don't think so. It I'm might just... have been, because that was an old show, and it might have been. I don't know if it was. It was probably, I think Kid Knight Rider was probably like, it was aired in the 80s, but so it probably was like, now, it took place what in do the you 90s. do with your van, John? Well, I drive around and tell stories. Uh, 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 prototypical, prototypical American stories. Why do you have to do it in a van? Why can't you just do it in a chair or something? Well, because you got to. It's a. Uh, it's a metaphor for. The van is. For, a vehicle. For. <laughs> it's a no. It's a metaphor for. Uh, it's def- It's a metaphor for something. I'm not sure. Well, I'll tell you something. For a guy who's got his name in the title and doesn't have uh, the ability to put it on a place where people can watch the damn thing, uh, you don't don't even know what the metaphor is about. Uh, Well, that's the the sign of a true artist. I don't know. I'm I'm not not aware of what I'm doing. Well, uh, now let me just finally ask you this because we have to go. Is there a place I can get a recap of the show? Because you're not going to watch. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, like I say, it's very difficult for me to watch. There's a 10:30 is like my go-to TV time. Um, right. DYI uh, channel and your kid has, has a birthday uh, party or something. Has uh, so backyard now, so now wars. That you... And um, I'm just curious. Is there like? A, a... Can I go to Gawker.com and see what like a recap of the show? I don't think so, but I can call you tomorrow and tell you. All right. Uh, that sounds good. Um, why yeah, don't if I, I don't answer, just leave a morning. message. Yeah. I'll call your home number in the morning, and I'll leave a message on what happened. Okay. Um, so it's, uh, oh, uh, we're just getting our mail delivered. Hi. How you doing? No. Thanks for stopping. Thank you. Uh, so it's John. You're, what, you're, well, are you talking to somebody else in the middle of my interview? The mailman came by. I was going to ask him if he had heard of your show, but he ran out Believably of here. Unbelievably rude that you would do that to a guest. Uh, so John Benjamin has a van. It is on uh, the Comedy Central station. Wait, a mailman came by. Where are you doing this from? Our office. How does a mailman come by in the middle of your show? So it's, he had to deliver the mail. We got a package. A serial, like a real. Uh, yeah, you're saying really a mailman, not a like not that wasn't a euphemism for something. We got a book. We got a book. Yeah. yeah a a real book. mailman came and interrupted this interview. Yeah. Are you, are you doing the show in, in from your foyer? No, we do it in the office. Uh, we get mail service. It, it's it's a business thing. It's like the mail guy, he comes to the door in an office building in oh, New no, York. He comes into our office. We keep the door unlocked so well, that, that people don't knock like, during the show. Honestly, this is an outrage. This is an outrage. Well, uh, John Benjamin offended you. by the mail service. Yeah, no, I'm not offended by the mail. Hey, you know what you should do? Maybe company, take your you know, van and do an expose on the mail. <laughs> Tell him your, like, signal with your hand, like I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> I mean, it, Don't well, I get think... your mail and retrieve your mail while you're having an interview with somebody. Well, I just felt like we had gotten all the important stuff done. Would you do that to Robert uh, Kennedy Jr., who I just saw and spoke of you? Oh, you just saw him? I saw him at Bonnaroo. Oh, was he at Bonnaroo? Yeah. I mean, I hope it was Robert Kennedy Jr. because I did go up to him. There are a lot of people down there who probably think they're Robert F. Kennedy Jr. because they're really high. <laughs> what were you doing? But I went up to a guy who looked very much like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I was like, hey, I'm John Benjamin. I'm good friends with Sam Cedar. And he did. He briefly acknowledged that. So, but it did. now when I think back, it was a little vague. Like he just sort of said, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it could have been anybody. <laughs> did he? Um, did you? But take there are not many like Kennedys there? walking around in Tennessee. 
Oh, you know what? Actually, it's very possible because he's probably in that area. He was down in West Virginia uh, protesting some uh, some uh, right, uh, fr- uh, fracking. Right? No, not fracking. <laughs> you don't listen to the program much. Um, it is uh, mountaintop removal. It was coal mining. <laughs> That's what I call two fracking. Di- two different things. That's not fracking. Fracking is something different. It's fracking is a word from Battlestar Galactica. That's right. It's a fake swear word. That's correct. So Van is also so, a word from Battlestar Galactica. They just never used it because they didn't have any vans. Oh, my God. Is this interview over? <laughs> so it's John Benjamin has a van. And it's on late, 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 late night on Comedy Central at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. That's not that late. And apparently they have to run it twice so that it'll get ratings. Is that what, it's, uh, what, is that what they do? They double up on the showing of it? Don't you have to go talk to your mailman now? <laughs> <laughs> it's on Tuesday He's nights. still there? And Does Wednesday he hang out all day? Nights. So if you're uh, not watching, Ed Schultz or AC360 hi. or DYI uh, Backyard Wars... Or um, uh, I gotta go. I'm getting two. off the train. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy your view of the train. Bye, John. Watch the show tonight. Bye, bye.